Hey, how's everybody doing? So today we're going to make banana nut bread. Two loaves of it. It's pretty simple and easy to make. So to begin with, we've got our ingredients here. We've got three cups of flour. We've got a two and a quarter cup of sugar. One cup of chopped walnuts. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Here we've got two bananas that are blackened and then smashed, of course. Three eggs, one cup of vegetable oil, and three teaspoons of vanilla. So it's pretty simple. Anyway, let's get started here. Sorry, I gotta move the camera. Okay. So again, like I said, we've got start off with all the dry ingredients in the mixer. Three cups of flour. Two and a quarter cups of sugar. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda. Three teaspoons of cinnamon. And I'll just go ahead and get that blended together first. Doesn't take very much to get that done. Okay. Now, what I usually do, just to make it a little easier, I mix the eggs, put the eggs in the oil. That. I guess you could add the walnuts right now. They're dry. Blend that in with them. Okay. Now, let that stir for a moment. oil in the eggs. So, I'm sure you've made banana nut bread before, if not, the trick to bananas is, you know, you, you want to make them black because they become sweeter. You can do that by putting them in the freezer a couple days before you plan on making the bread. Of course, thaw them out completely before you use them. Okay, let's add our bananas. You can do the exact same thing with zucchini bread, except for, you know, two cups of zucchini, shredded or grated zucchini instead of bananas. You want to preheat the oven to 325 degrees.
done. See, it doesn't take very long to prep it. Nice and not runny, but not real watery either. I mean, it's not too thick. So, then I'm going to divide it between two pans. And what I've done with the pans, I lined the edges with the oil and, and flour. And then I cut a piece of wax paper and I put it into the bottom of the pan. It makes it much, life is a lot easier that way. So, take this, get this out of the way. And then we'll divide this into these two pans. And this is, the, like I said, the simple part anyway. Just dividing it between the two. Now when this is in the oven, you want to bake it 40 to 60 minutes. And of course, take a toothpick, stick it in the middle to see, make sure it comes out dry. But this recipe is, mine usually come out really moist. And one trick that I do when I bring them out of the oven and they're still hot, I actually wrap it in aluminum foil, the bread loaf, after I take it out of the pans, and then I put it straight into the freezer. And it, it forces the moisture back into the bread. Now you can leave them in there and let them freeze, and then thaw them out whenever you plan on eating them. It is actually very delicious. Never had anyone ever complain about it. <laughs> In fact, there was one week I made oh, a good 15 or 20 loaves of zucchini bread. So, all right, well, there you have it. Now I'll put over here in the oven, like I said, 325 degrees for 40 to 60 minutes. I preheated my oven for about 30 minutes before I put all this together. So, Again, if you need the list of ingredients, it's going to be three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, three teaspoons of cinnamon, three eggs, one cup of vegetable oil, two and a quarter cup of sugar, three teaspoons of vanilla, and then two cups of either eggs or uh, either bananas or zucchini, whichever one you're planning on making. Alright, thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later. Enjoy. Ciao.